This is a story about ordinary people who see and feel things the rest of us don't. They have a rare brain condition called synesthesia in which some of the senses, usually quite distinct, involuntarily fuse together, creating almost literally a sixth sense. Music is not only heard, it's seen and felt. Words can have flavors, and flavors can have color. It sounds bizarre, but it's more common than many people realize. And with the help of sophisticated brain imaging techniques, scientists are coming closer to understanding some of its hidden clues. And with that, perhaps opening a small window into the mysteries of the human mind. They're not on drugs. They don't have any brain disease. They haven't had a stroke. Uh, they're born this way, and they're different from the rest of us. Neurologist Richard Cytoic explored this surreal world in his book, The Man Who Tasted Shapes. He's documented hundreds of cases of synesthesia. What is synesthesia? You know the word anesthesia, which means no sensation. Synesthesia means joint sensation. And some people are born with two or more of their senses hooked together so that my voice, for example, is not just something that they hear, but it's also something that they might see or taste or feel. But how do we know that they're not making this up? Well, first of all, it's been known to medicine and psychology for 300 years. This is an experience that happens to people. They don't do anything about it. Um, the doorbell rings, they see, you know, blue round spots. And it's as real to them as? As seeing the sky is to us. It's just that their reality is different than what we perceive. Researchers like Richard Cytoic aren't looking for a cure. He thinks studying synesthetes offers remarkable clues to the mysteries of the human mind. These people experience the world in a different way. Their senses are wired together differently. And so synesthesia, instead of being a, a quirk, an oddity that you just dismiss, it's a little peephole. And you move the peephole around and look through it, and you see this big expanse on how the mind works and how the brain is organized.